Yep, so this is my new handheld uh, gaming device, I guess you'd call it. Uh, 100 kilowatt hour battery. Uh, let's see. V1605B processor from Ryzen AMD uh, running Windows 10. Uh, let me go sign in. It gets pretty good performance. Uh, let's see. Screen resolution, I think, is like 480p on this little screen. No, oh, it's tough to see. Hold on, let me, uh, let me change in the lighting will help. Still kind of tough to see. Do it at that angle then, I guess. So I'm going to run Doom right now. Um, the battery... I don't know if you can read that. What's that like? 99%? Maybe I'll turn the light back on. Well, it's tough to see, but it's at 98% right now. Is that easier to see now? Not really. 97%. See, it's draining real fast. How many minutes has that been? All right, so, gonna run Doom. It's gonna take a little while because it's offline. Just wanna show you my power settings. Uh, Oops. So, it's set to my power saver plan. If I look under these advanced plan settings for you, bear with me while I bring it up. Um, Processor power management. In here, I have the maximum power state set to 5%. Damn, I wish you could see that. But, there you go, maximum power state set to 5%. Minimum, also low. I think I put that even lower. 3%. Minimum 3%. Sorry. It's, I know it's tough to focus on this. Um, Alright, so yeah, let's see if Doom wants to run now. Alright. Alright, starting offline mode. And let's check my battery. All the way down to 94% in that little amount of time. No bueno. Using the cord to kind of reveal it. Alright, so there we go. Got some doom going. This is a really uncomfortable position to stand in, but... Alright. So, yeah, in my testing, um... I tried switching the power setting of my battery to 12 volts, which is what the TDP is set to on the motherboard. However, that causes a crash, which has corrupted these top two files. Uh, it runs Windows fine, but then once it starts really chugging in Doom, it just crashes. So, setting my battery to 12 volts is not an option. Um, 
Let's see, it says 60 FPS right now, it's not really running the game though. Once I get into the game, you'll see I get some pretty damn good performance, but my battery drains like crazy. Maybe I'll try to sit. <sighs> That's not gonna work. All right, well, anyway. Here we go. Boom, yeah, Doom. Super freaking tough to play with this. Like this, I can't really see what I'm doing. Uh, let's try and get to some action. I think I killed all the enemies in this area, then it auto saved, but. Yeah, chugging along, 80, 90, 100 FPS, not really what I want. I wish I could limit that. Um, you know, all right, I'll shoot a barrel for you, boom. Uh, and then, let's see, let's see what the battery's doing. 90, and all that time, However many minutes it's been, we drained 10% of the battery, which is crazy. Like, it's a 100 watt hour battery. Uh, largest TSA will allow, so I mean, however long it's been, you know, <laughs> that's one tenth of the time we have. Um, let me get out of Doom and show you some other things. I'll probably take screenshots of these too. Sorry if this is a boring video, I'll try and edit it down maybe. Um, if I go into this AMD stuff here, which is hard to see, I'm sorry. But if I go to gaming, 3D application settings, uh, Uh, that's weird. It's set to performance now, even though I had set the oh texture. That's why. Uh, frame rate control. Oh, wait. On. Always on. That's weird. I never noticed that. Let's see what frame rate control does. Apply that. And then somewhere in here, I set it to 45 frames. Just gotta find that. See, maybe under performance. Frame rate. There we go. Yeah. So that's been set to 45, which is impossible for you to see. Uh, but yeah, let me go into Doom. Let's see if it works now. Maybe I uh, was an idiot and didn't turn it on, even though I had it set. All right, let's see if that works. But as you can see, that 5% power setting I had was not respected in any way at all. Man, this light's killing me. Does that help? All right, let's see if it respects that 45 frames per second. If it does, that might help things out a little bit. How much battery we drain? That was another 5% battery, then 85. Mm -hmm. Let it load. Uh, an additional problem I have is some of the Ryzen video software uh, that's meant for overclocking also won't even run on this motherboard. It says unsupported hardware or unsupported chip or something. Um, Maybe they'll be implementing support for that because I think this needs to be underclocked in order to have any amount of battery life. As you can see, this battery's freaking massive. Um, so, uh, sure, yeah, we'll just continue. So part of that, well, you can see it's already running at 60 FPS, which is, you know, not what I had that frame limit set to. Um, yeah, so I'm just wondering how Smosh Z 
and the GPD Win 2 Max are going to address this if they're using the same processor I'm using. Um, it's a massive, huge, 100 kilowatt hour battery. Uh, do not see how they could cram a bigger battery into their devices, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, so what's my FPS? Yeah, still like chugging along, 70s, 90s, whatever. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna close out, then I'm gonna show you how the Ryzen manager doesn't even run. Where is it? Let me see if I can find it. There's, uh, there we go. AMD Ryzen monitor. That's what I'm trying to talk about. Man, this is just rough. Well, anyway, you just have to trust me that that's what I'm doing. Uh, give it the go ahead. Yes, you may make changes, and then BAM! You can't really see that error too well, but... It says, Ryzen Master does not support current processor. Unsupported processor. So I think... Until they support this processor, I don't think Smotch Z or even the GPD Win 2 uh, is going to be viable with this processor. Uh, let's see. At the end of this video, maybe I won't cut it, and I apologize, just so you can get a better sense of how quickly the battery drains. Down to... Eh, I wish I could show it to you. Come on. It's 80%. I don't know how to get you to see that. But 80%. And that's with the battery pack set to 16 volts, because 12 volts doesn't work. So however long this video was, that's... So my device stopped recording me. Um, I'm back. I took the opportunity to take some screenshots that I'll be putting up on Reddit and I'll link below. Um, if you have any ideas for how to make this device consume less power, please let me know. Um, until then, I think just waiting for Ryzen Master to begin to support this chip might be the only solution. Um, thank you very much for watching and um, I hope this was informative for you.